mom told me. And I just lost it. I, I was like, is this real? An Omaha family grasping for answers after their father dies in a workplace accident. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Joe Chiodo is on assignment. Happening locally live at 5, we are learning more about a man killed while working construction. Jeffrey Gloop was electrocuted in a trench that he was working in. A backhoe near him struck an electrical source. Today, just a day after Father's Day, our Aaron Murray met with his oldest daughter. It is the first time we are hearing from his family. It's a story you will only see on 6. Fishing can be a solitary pastime. But normally for Mariah Gloop, it was not. It was something she did with her dad, Jeffrey Gloop. A lot of people cared about him and loved him, and he had a really big heart. And I just, this is just my way of, of coping with the fact that he's gone. Last Wednesday, Jeffrey died in a construction accident. He was electrocuted when a backhoe near him hit an electrical line. Her family is still waiting for answers, but they hold on to the one comfort that when he died, it was quick. You know, he um, didn't feel any pain or anything like that. It was, I mean, it was 480 watts of electricity. I mean, there was nothing they could have done. Mariah says dealing with his death is hard, but it's been the hardest on her younger half siblings. There's nothing you can tell a nine year old boy to bring his dad back. There's nothing you can do. I mean, he always told me to take care of him, and that's what I'm going to do. She's also determined to keep his memory alive, calling him the most kind-hearted person she knew, a person who could always make her laugh. Out here on the lake after fishing, she finds her peace and says her goodbye. I love you. Knowing out here, she will always feel close to her dad. Aaron Murray, WOWT, 6 News. OSHA continues to investigate the death. The family says they are eager for answers. They believe information surrounding his death will keep them with closure, but also prevent more accidents in the future.